यामुना ठीरा बन्ना चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन्न वल्ल गिरी बरद हारी यशोदानंदन गज जन रंजन यमुना ठीर मन छारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन भल्लभ गिरी वरद हारी जासोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन जमुना ठीर बन छारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जा विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्रज कचाच आस्तोत्र सत सी सीमाद इस डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्त वेदांत स्वामी शील प्रभु भार की जाए अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाए नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्री बासारी गौर भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंद राधा कुंड गिरि गोवर्धान की जाए वृंदावन धाम की जाए नवद्वीप धाम की जाए भक्ति देवी की जाए तुलसी महारानी की जाए यमुना देवी की जाए गंगा देवी की जाए समवेता भक्त वृंद की जाए इसका नुद्वारक की जाए गौर प्रेम नंदे All glory is to the assembled devotees. All glory is to the assembled devotees. All glory is to the assembled devotees. All glory is to Sri Sri Guru and Goranga. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Sri Mathe Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Goravani Pracharine Nivishesha Sunyavadi. We are assembled this morning here to listen and speak on Srimad Bhagavatam, the 10th canto, chapter 12, text number 39. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sakrid Yad Anga Pratimantar Ahita Manomai भागवती दद्दाओ गतिम स एवा नित्यात्मा सुकान भूति अभी व्युदस्ता मायो अंतर गतो 
hi kin punaha sakrit yat anga pratimanta ahita mano mai bhagavatin dadao gatin sa eva nityat masukana bhutyabi Viu das tamai on target you got oh he king puna Sacred yet anga prati manta ahita Mano mai bhagavatin the dao gatim Sa eva nityat masukana bhutyabhi Vyudasta mayon targato hi king puna Sakrit yadanga pratimanta ahita Mano mai bhagavatin the dao gatim Sa eva nityatma sukana bhutyabhi Vyudasta mayon targato hi king puna Kindly chant Sakrit Yadanga Pratimanta Ahita Mano Mai Bhagavatin Dadao Gatim Saeva Nityatma Sukana Bhutyavi Vyudasta Mayontar Gatohi King Puna Sakrit Yadanga Pratimanta Ahita Mano Mai Bhagavatin Dadao Gatim Saeva Nityatma Sukana Bhutyabhi Vyudasta Mayonta Gatohi King Puna Ladies Sakrit Yadanga Pratimanta Ahita Mano Mai Bhagavatin Dadao Gatim Saeva Nityatma Sukhana Bhutyabhi Vyudasta Mayon Targato Hiking Puna Sakrit Yadanga Pratimanta Ahita Mayo Mai Bhagavatin Dadao Gatim Saeva Nityatma Sukana Bhutyabhi Vyudasta Mayo Ndargato Hiking Puna Sakrit Yadanga Pratimanta Ahita 
मनोमयी भागवती ददाओ गति अंग प्रतिमा the form of the supreme lord there are many forms but krishna is the original form anta ahita placing within the core of the heart somehow or other manapmai thinking of him even by force bhagavati which is competent to offer devotional service to the lord dadao krishna gave gatim the best destination sa he the supreme personality of godhead eva indeed nitya always atma of all living entities sukha anubhuti anyone thinking of him immediately enjoys transcendental pleasure abhivyudastamaya because all illusion is completely removed by him anta gata he is always present within the core of the heart he indeed king punaha what to speak now we do the translation responsibly please if even only once or even by force one brings the form of the supreme personality of godhead into one's mind one can attain the supreme salvation by the mercy of krishna as did agasura what then is to be said of those whose hearts the supreme personality of godhead enters when he appears as an incarnation or those who always think of the lotus feet of the lord who is the source of transcendental bliss for all living entities and by whom all illusion is completely removed the purport by his divine grace ac bhakti vedant swami shila prabhupada the process for receiving the favor of the supreme personality of godhead is described here yat pada pankaja palasha vilasa bhakti simply by thinking of krishna one can attain him very easily krishna is also described as having his lotus feet always within the hearts of his devotees bhagavan bhakta riddhi stitha in the case of agasura one may argue that he was not a devotee the answer to this is that he thought of krishna for a moment with devotion bhaktiyaham ekaya grahya without devotion one cannot think of krishna and conversely whenever one thinks of krishna one undoubtedly has devotion 
although Agasura's purpose was to kill Krishna, for a moment Agasura thought of Krishna with devotion and Krishna and his associates wanted to sport within Agasura's mouth. Similarly, Putana wanted to kill Krishna by poisoning him. But Krishna took her as his mother because he had accepted the milk of her breast. Swapam apkyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bayat. Especially when Krishna appears as an avatar, anyone who thinks of Krishna in his different incarnations, Ramadi Murtishu Kala Niyamena Tishtan, and especially in his original form as Krishna, attains salvation. There are many instances of this, and among them is Agasura, who attained the salvation of Sarupya Mukti. Therefore, the process is Satatang Kitayanto Mang Yatantas Cha Vridha Vrata. Those who are devotees always engage in glorifying Krishna. Advaitam Achyutam Anadim Anantarupam. When we speak of Krishna, we refer to all his avatars, such as Krishna, Govinda, Narayana, Vishnu, Lord Chaitanya, Krishna Balaram, and Syama Sundara. One who always thinks of Krishna must attain Vimukti, special salvation, as the Lord's personal associate. Not necessarily in Vrindavan, but at least in Vaikuntha. This is called Sarupya Mukti. Trinadapi Sunichena Tarodi Vasahishnuna Amani Nama Nadena Kirtaniya Sadahari Hare Nama Hare Nama Hare Nama Eva Kivalam Kalo Nastyeva 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 Gatir Anyata. This verse is so encouraging, so enlightening, so enthusing. Prachodayat. We chant our Gayatri mantras in this word. Prachodayat appears, becoming enthused. That is very much needed in spiritual life, enthusiasm. Indeed, Rupa Goswami says, that's the first item to guarantee success, enthusiasm. So we must become enthusiastic in devotional service. How do we become enthusiastic? You need inspiration. Therefore, we look at the beautifully dressed deities to get inspired, to get enthused. We read the Bhaktivedanta purports to become enlivened, inspired, enthused. We take Krishna Prasadam to become enlivened, enthused, inspired. We preach. Preaching itself will make you enthusiastic if you just go out there and as we say stick your foot in the water of preaching you'll become enthused because this process of krishna consciousness susukam kartam avyam joyfully performed every aspect of krishna consciousness is a happy occasion joyous and it's easy. Now, there are so many nice words in today's verse. Sakrit, only once. That's why if we can get someone just once to say, Hare Krishna, we have no idea how much benefit that person will get. Or if they even just hear Hare Krishna, even if they don't say it. If we say it loud enough and they hear it, you don't know how much benefit is there. Uh, this word, Anga Pratima, the form of the Supreme Lord. Arjuna asks that question in the beginning of the 12th chapter. Krishna said, I worship you 
impersonally or should I worship you personally? Emphatically, Krishna says, you should worship my personal form. On the contrary, klesho adikataras sham. If you try to approach me impersonally, klesha, trouble. Why would anybody want to take the troublesome path? Everybody takes the elevator. Say you're going to a big 20, 30 floor building, office building. You're going to walk 30 flights? Yeah, some people will do that for the exercise. But if you're going for some business, you're not going to do that in your suit and tie or in your high heels. No, you'll take the easy. Take the easy path. Elevator. You're on the freeway. You're going to take the path where there's the most traffic or you're going to find the shortcuts. Go down your thing there. All right, show me some alternate routes. No, it's human nature to take the easy way. So Krishna is telling you, you worship my personal form. Krishna's personal form includes the deity, includes this chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Everybody, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. His personal form. We are hearing every day Srimad Bhagavatam. That's his personal form. Now Prabhupada adds when he when he's translating Anga Pratima, then he adds a little purport. Hmm. By the way, there are many forms, but Krishna is the original form. Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam. The mission statement of Srimad Bhagavatam is that line. There are so many avatars, no doubt about it. Six different kinds of avatars. Okay. But Srimad Bhagavatam is emphasizing there are so many avatars, incarnations, expansions, manifestations. But just understand one thing Krishna is the origin. That is our movement. Our movement is that movement also. We are here to pronounce loud and clear Krishna is supreme. As Krishna himself says, Matak Parataram Nanyat. No truth superior to me. No ifs, ands, or buts. That's it. Krishna says, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava. Everything comes from me. The word everything, it's quite clear what its meaning. Everything. No exclusions, no exceptions. Everything comes from Krishna. Now, says here, Mana Mayi, thinking of him even by force. There you go. Japa. Every day. When you get up in the morning, you don't feel like chanting. That mind is just... And so by force, no, we must chant. Nobody likes to take bitter medicine. Everybody would rather take sweets or candy or ice cream. But bitter medicine, especially children, Try to give them bitter medicine. It's a fight. So Rupa Goswami points out. Yes. For the neophyte. For the beginner. This sweet name of Krishna. Is very very bitter. But what does Rupa Goswami say? Just like. For the person who has jaundice. The only cure is sugar candy, but the person with jaundice cannot taste the sweetness of sugar and to him it tastes very, very bitter. 
That's how you know you have jaundice. But the problem is, that's the medicine. That medicine, if you want to get cured, you have to take it. But it doesn't taste good. Too bad. Tough love. Take your medicine. So Rupa Goswami also uses the same thing. That by force, you have to begin this hearing and chanting process. You ever think about it? We take a vow to chant 16 rounds of this Hare Krishna mantra. One of the reasons is based on this principle. Nobody wants to do it. But that is the order of the spiritual master. By force, you take your medicine. How do you know you're getting cured? Because little by little, the bitter taste is going away and the sweetness of the holy name of Krishna is becoming perceivable. That's how you know you're making progress. It's not as bitter as it was. When you are first starting out as Bhakta Bozo, Bhakti Dizzy Dasi, it's very, very bitter. But you do it. You do it. And as you progress, then you start to look forward. Oh, I'm getting something from this. Even in the beginning, even every day, that first mantra is the hardest. But you keep chanting. I noticed today myself, my first round took so long. But after a couple of rounds, the velocity was increasing. What does that mean? That means the medicine was working. I was getting a little taste. So keep in mind, you don't feel like it. That's all right. Intellectually, you have to understand, this is my medicine. And when can you stop taking your medicine? When the point is you don't want to. In other words, when you are cured, you are tasting this Krishna consciousness, this name of Krishna, you're tasting it so much, you don't want to stop. I believe Prabhupada gave the example, the drunkard. The drunkard is always looking for that nip, for that taste. We should become drunkards after the holy name of Krishna. Don't stop chanting until you become a drunkard of the holy name. That incessantly you want to chant. Why? Because it's the sweetest thing. Everybody's looking for some rasa. Everybody. But the problem is, the rasa that they're experiencing in the material world causes frustration. Every material rasa ends in frustration, anger. But when you develop these transcendental rasas, the taste is there. You may have a taste for a particular service, if you have a taste for a particular service, that's a sign that you have become successful. Even if it's just taking prasadam, that's also a service. I can say, I have some taste for some service. May Krishna bless you all that each and every one of you derive some taste from a particular service. Like Bhakti Siddhanta said, your service, which is your all and all. Those who are dressing the deities, once they start to do it more and more and more, they get a taste. Yes. Those who have a taste for preaching, 
That's the best taste. Best taste, preaching. Go out and get that taste for preaching. Nothing better. This word here, Abhivudasta Maya, because all illusion is completely removed by Krishna. What is that line in the Chaitanya Charitamrita? Krishna Surya Sama. Krishna is just like the sun. Here it is now, eight o'clock in the morning. California, the sun is up. In the early, early, early morning, things are dark. But as the sun is rising, the light is coming, the darkness goes away. So maya, illusion, ignorance is just like darkness. I forgot to mention when I was speaking about Rupa Goswami, that we all have this disease of jaundice but it's a jaundice known as ignorance that's our jaundice ignorance ignorance meaning we still have a taste for material life that's how you can tell how much you are in maya how much do i still have a taste for enjoying this material world. And you know. I know. We can. Pretend in front of others. But when we go to bed at night. Each of us knows. I'm still. Attached. To this material. Rasa. That means. More work has to be done. I have to lose this material rasa and the only way to lose it is to take more direct voluntary shelter of Krishna more chanting more hearing more serving so like the sun when the sun has risen darkness illusion is gone as soon as Krishna is there in the mind as soon as Krishna is there in the heart, the darkness of ignorance is dispelled. We have everything here. We have all the keys to the kingdom of God. All we have to do is unlock it. That's all. Just do it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We can have some discussion, questions. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, you were getting a, mentioning about getting a taste for uh, the rasa from a service. Can you describe uh, what that taste li feels like? What, what the that taste is something so nice that you don't want to give it up. That taste is you are deriving so much satisfaction, happiness. And, and just peace from executing your particular service and you don't want to stop just like if you have children you take them to that place called Disneyland they never want to go home it can be 12 midnight you got there at 8 o'clock it's 12 midnight and you tell the children it's time to go home. No, we just got here. You see, that's how material taste is. They don't want to give it up. So when you find a service that you would rather die than give that up, you've got something. 
So, may you find that service that you don't want to give up no matter what, whether it be chanting or kirtan or preaching or deity worship, whatever that service is that you don't want to give up because there's nothing better. Bhagavad Gita, chapter 6, the stage of perfection or trance. Upon gaining this, he thinks there's no greater gain. That's it. That there's nothing better. I Before I was a devotee, I was an entertainer in Greenwich Village. Now, I do preaching. I would never go back to that way of life. Never. Because going out there and preaching, there's nothing better. So, may you find your service. Thank you. More questions? Yes. Upon gaining this, you will not want to go back to anything else. So, isn't that, uh, isn't that within? I mean, does that depend on the external activity that you're doing? No, it depends on the service and how you are experiencing Krishna's reciprocation in that service. Right. So, it, it theoretically, any service might be possible to experience that samadhi. Yes, but keep in mind, you are a person. You are an individual. And you have particular tastes. So, you will probably find a particular service. Maybe somebody else doesn't like that service, but you like it because you are an individual person. There's a nice purport in the third canto where Prabhupada says, if there's a particular incarnation or pastime that you are very much attracted to, that gives you some inclination of your eternal relationship with Krishna. I'll leave you with that. Yes, Prabhu. I still have more questions. Huh? Okay, hold on. I'll, we'll come back. You were not satisfied with the answer? All right, we'll go back. Thank you for a wonderful class. Okay. Uh, when you were speaking, I also was thinking that there is, it is another level of satisfaction too in relationship of love. And in that relationship of love, one will do anything to please the beloved. Yes. So... In Krishna consciousness, we all have a spiritual master. And we try to absorb ourselves in what the instruction is of the spiritual master. And out of that loving relationship, one will actually do whatever is necessary to please the spiritual master. And from that activity, one can actually feel an intense love, intense peace, intense enthusiasm to the point of giving one's life, one's mind, body, and soul to please that particular spiritual master. And I would say, knowing you, you have just described yourself. So let's wait. She's not satisfied with my answer, so I have to try to answer her to her satisfaction. Like I think what like Savas Prabhu was saying, it, it on a on a level of sacrificing oneself, it may be that you need to work according to your psychophysical nature. But isn't it also true that there's a taste of just giving one's very self? I think that's Atmani Vedanam. Yeah, it's Atmani Vedanam. And that that may it comes sometimes comes to the point of no longer dovetailing your material propensities. Yes. In, in that sacrifice, that it goes beyond even that. Yes. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I just isn't that true? I don't know. Of of course it's true. It's absolutely true. All right, whose turn is it? Your turn, then your turn. Go ahead. Agasura was great demon, 
And uh, how is possible that in one point of time he has a little bit devotion for Krishna? How is that possible? Because any, everything is actually simultaneously inconceivable. How is that possible? It's inconceivable. I have no better answer. There's not much more detail that Krishna gives. Other than the next thing that comes to my mind, Krishna is all attractive. And there are other instances of demons. For a split second, they can at least appreciate Krishna. So that's why it says only once even. So I don't believe, I didn't read all the purports. I read the chapter yesterday, I didn't read all the purports. But at least Prabhupada is indicating today, I don't know if he goes into details elsewhere, but somehow or other, there was some kind of appreciation, attraction to Krishna. With devotion. With devotion. Yes, but his question was how, right? He wanted to know how. Why? Okay, why then? Because Krishna is all attractive. Sachi Tanoi Dasa. The microphone is yours, sir. Is it correct to think that uh, the spiritual master, the guru, the father, and the leader has to become expert in uh, guiding properly the particular inclination of a devotee because he has not arrived to, the, arrived to that platform in which you can become Admani Vedanam in order for that particular devotee to yes, find Yes, Prabhupada text. even writes that. Yes. But her point, which is also valid, and it's been all of our experiences, when you join the movement and you start living in the temple, you don't get to choose what you want to do. You are told, like in a military camp, Bhakta Nick, clean the schoolroom. You can't say, oh, that's, that's not my psychophysical nature. Uh-uh. Go and cut the vegetables now. So, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Everything comes from Krishna. I had to wait many, 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 many years till I found a service I really enjoyed. I prayed for it. Krishna gave it to me. So, pray. You got to pray just to make it today. You got to pray. More questions? Yes, Prabhu. Give him the microphone. I just wanted to add to what uh, Prema Sankirtan Prabhu was mentioning because it is inherent in us also that for a moment we do actually get attracted to something, especially the opposite sex. You may see a very beautiful person and all of a sudden your mind is attracted and then you may withdraw it with the <coughs> power of knowledge. but literally we are also appreciating if a nice car passes by oh by the way that's a nice new model or that's a new nice so for a moment you can definitely because even in the material world for a moment we are attracted to so many things so i just wanted to point that analogy that that is also presently happening in our current state of body so why can it not happen that for a moment we can have that pure devotion if that if that elaborates more to your question Hare Krishna. All right, we could go on, but we shall respect the temple policy. We will end class here. Thank you very much. All glories to Srila Prabhupada.